Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Welcome to class 6 students. We will be learning a new lesson in English literature and that is the resting hill. This lesson is adopted from a Sri Lankan folk tale by Griffin Ondaat J. So, who is this Griffin? Griffin Ondaat J is a Sri Lankan born Canadian writer and a filmmaker. He is born in Sri Lanka but he is a Canadian writer which means he is stayed in Canada. His works include fiction, autobiography, poetry and film. What are, what are his works? He writes autobiography. He also composes poems. And what his works are all about fiction, fictitious works. And he is also a filmmaker. He won the Booker Prize for his novel, The English Patient. So he is also the winner for his novel, The English Patient, which was made into an award winning film. So it was also turned to an award winning film. Film. So now look into page 82, the resting hill, first paragraph. An old man and his granddaughter came walking down the country road. Let's rest a minute here, said the old man to his granddaughter as they approached a palmyra tree on a small hill. So you all are very familiar with your grandparents, right? You'll go out with them, talk to them, sit, have fun together, right? So here also this old man and girl were walking. To a, on the countryside road in the sense in villages there will be no main roads in all if they have to go to the city they have to go through the main road so when they were walking towards wa walking towards some particular place they they felt tired and see what he says let's rest a minute here so grandfather will tell the granddaughter will rest for a minute here and what uh, as they were walking they could see a hill before them he sat with down beside the road and took a mango from a basket and bit into it. The girl took a mango too. So what they did? They sat down. They had basket with them. They took one one mango and started eating. He pointed to the palmyra tree up on the hill. See that palmyra there, he said. So what the grandfather did was, he pointed, he lifted his hand and he showed one tree and palmyra tree. What does palmyra stands for? Palmyra means a type of palm. And the way there's a wild and the way there's a wild dip to the ground as if a giant rock had fallen there. He asked. So I, after he pointed his finger towards the tree, he'll tell, can you see one big pit over there? It looks like a big rock would have fallen there. He's asking his granddaughter. Yes. Yes. That tree's been there forever, said the girl. So the girl will look at the tree and tell, Yes, granddad, this tree is there from a long time. No, there was another tree there a long time ago. So grandfather is telling, Many years ago, there was another tree there. An elephant had to wait beside it a very long time, you know. So he's telling that an elephant had to wait near that tree for a long time. Have you heard this one before? Did you hear about this before? He is asking his granddaughter and now he starts narrating his story. Once there was an elephant tamer who could who came to live here after his retirement. So there was an elephant tamer in the sense a man who was training elephants. So what he did after his retirement from his job he came and he started residing there. His name was Velapanikar and his wife was Ari Aryathai. So here what happened? The name of the man was Velapanikar and his wife was Aryathai. Velapanikar was the best elephant tamer in the kingdom. So who, who was he? He was one of the best elephant trainer in the kingdom. He could tame any elephant because he was very brave and patient. Why could he train all the elephants? Because this man was very brave and he had lots of patience. He built a house beside his, beside this road, a mile away, a mile from here, and lived a peaceful life, gardening with his wife. So, what did this man do? The place where this granddaughter and grandfather are sitting, he is telling that the man built a house beside the road, and he also led a very peaceful life. And what did his wife do? He, his wife would would always spend time in gardening, in the garden, growing trees looking after them. So even this Velapanikar used to do the same thing. One morning, Velapanikar and Aryathai heard a terrible crash like thunder. 
people screaming and then another crash and more screaming. The sounds were coming from across the paddy field and Velapanika ran out to see what had happened. So one more morning, when this a man and his wife were in their house. They could listen to a crash, terrible crash like thunder. This they are telling that so, there was a thunder like crash. Somebody came over there, and people also started screaming more and more. And so what this what they did when they heard all these screams, they ran. They ran, they came out of the house, and they, what could they see? They could see people running inside the paddy fields. It was a giant elephant on the far side of the field. It had knocked down a small house and chased away several farmers who ran splashing into the paddy field. Their oxen were running too, howling plows behind them. So what happened when they came out to see what had happened? They could see a big giant, giant like elephant, huge elephant, far off the field, means far side of the field in the sense, so nearby to the field. It had knocked down a small house. What did the elephant do? It crashed one house and it also chased many people from there. And what happened along with these people? The oxen, the plural form of ox is oxen. Even they started running along with the men in the paddy field. Howling plows behind them in the sense pulling that plow, the wooden thing which will be tied to the elephant's neck, the, the elephant to the cow's neck. They started pulling that and following the men. In anger, the elephant turned towards a nearby tree and ran forward at full speed, smashing into it. So the elephant was very angry. So what he did? He went near a tree which was close to him and he went. He wanted to make the tree crash. He wanted to smash that tree. The elephant stood there motionless and started to push against the tree until the tree bent suddenly and fell over its root stone out of the ground. So what did the elephant do? With anger it ran very quickly and started smashing the tree. And when it finally smashed the tree, what happened? The tree fell on the ground and all its roots had come out. Clear? So now, Velapanikar watched all this. He would never seen an elephant do that before. So now this man is shocked to see all this and he's telling that he had never seen an elephant doing like this activity before. Coming to his senses, he turned and walked over to the tool shed and pulled out a rope and went, to, went out into the field. So what he did? After watching, he was shocked. How can one elephant do like this? Then he came back to his normal senses. He went to the shed. He took out one rope and he started walking inside the field. As he began to run, a thought came to him, a thought he had never had before. Perhaps this elephant is one I cannot tame. He stopped and turned back. So when he was walking in the field, he, one thought came to his mind. What was the thought? First of all, he observed that the elephant was behaving very ruthlessly. With, he, the elephant was filled with anger. And he also told that he had never seen such kind of elephant. But still... Courageously, he took out the rope and he was walking. So at that time, he thought that I am not sure if I can train this elephant or not. So he turns back again. The grandfather interrupted himself and took a bite of his mango. He chewed for some time. So the grandfather will tell this much story to his granddaughter. And now what he did? He wanted to eat the mango. So he, bit, he bites the mango again and starts enjoying the mango. So grandfather is enjoying eating the mango. An untamed elephant which attacks people for no reason, such as this one did, is a rogue elephant, he said slowly. So now, grandfather is telling, an untamed elephant or an elephant which is not trained can attack people for no reason, such as this one did, is a rogue elephant, he said slowly. So he's telling his granddaughter that an elephant which is not trained can attack anybody. So this is what he's trying to tell his granddaughter. And as you know, a rogue elephant is very dangerous, impossible to tame. So they are talking about a rogue elephant. And grandfather is telling to his granddaughter, it is not easy, it is not very easy to train a rogue elephant. And in those days, an elephant tamer who failed to subdue a rogue elephant in less than 30 days was killed. And look what happened. The condition and term in those days was, if one if an elephant tamer, if an elephant trainer did not train a rogue elephant in one month, 
they would kill that trainer itself 